Hey, what's good, YouTube? Nate the Mask Collector back with another figure review. Uh, today we're doing Merman. And I have four different figures here. Um, I do have a couple extra ones that are still in a box downstairs that I'm not going to open up at this time, which are the classics version of it. And also the filmation version, version of it as well. Um, keeping those bad boys in the box for now. But uh, these I'm going to open up. So what we got here is my original Merman, which I definitely lost an arm. This guy has been used and abused. He's all cracked. Um, definitely got ran over by probably my dad's truck or something at one time. Um, lost an arm. Twisting still works. Um, I did, I am missing a part of his armor and his, I think I actually still have his sword somewhere though. Um, but, uh, yeah, 1982, Taiwan. So that's the OG version. I still have all of my characters from when I was a kid. I was such a hoarder. Um, all right, so then we have the Super 7 version, which is modeled after the Filmation. So Filmation colors, um, head sculpts, and uh, feet, and arms, and armor, and everything like that. So we're going to open him up. We have the Origins version right here, which came out first. Um, I think it was the second or third wave, I think, was, came out. And uh, I think it was a third wave. And then, um, so that's that one. And then we also have the other Origins, the Lord of Power version. That's what this LOP means on this uh, sticker right here. So, there we go. So we got um, three figures to open up. Let's do it. Uh, first things first, let's look at the cards though. Um, the Super 7 versions are definitely more um, robust and thicker. You know, it's they're definitely made more for collecting on card, not to open up. Um, here's the artwork Merman with the Crimson Pearl at his command seeks to overthrow his enemies. motion all right so yeah the cards are nice nicer um as far as the uh rigidity of it and then for the origin ones um they're they're pretty flimsy i mean these things are made to hang on a on a peg you know sold play with and uh here's the uh, artwork for the back of the origins which is great too Lurking in the darkest depths of the ocean, Merman awaits Skeletor's orders to attack Eternia's surface world. Sword of Rakash. And wow, so Lord of Power's got a different. Um, yeah, this one got this trash. As ruler of Rakash, Merman orders the monsters of the deep at the behest of evil Skeletor. Alright, so we'll open them up and take a look. I do love these cards. That come with the Super 7 from Toy to Tune. Um, it really gives you an insight of the original drawing, what the, the figure that came out, and then also how it got the idea for the uh, filmation as well. A 
The sword that came with the action figure was never designed for the cartoon. And then I, I keep the cards. They really um, didn't didn't care about wasting the tape and packaging on this stuff. There we go. It's a pretty pointy tip here. I'm gonna round it off a little bit just because my daughter will be playing with these things. All right, so Super 7 version. Um, these things are stiff, like it's hard to, uh, to turn it. I know on the camera this looks really blue, um, but it is definitely kind of a uh, greenish blue color. Um, you know, and we just have our basically five points of articulation. So the head, the arms, and then the legs move around. And that's it. So it's, it's really like the same as the original figures that came out, just a different sculpt to match the filmation. Uh, let's see how the sword fits in his hand. And it's really tough to get in there. It's in there good though. I don't have to see that fall out anytime soon. And then his uh, staff here is pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty neat. I like this character. This is cool. I like the filmation look to it. So there's him. Out of the way. And we'll open up the next origin one. Um, yeah, we've seen these before. This is the same one that comes with Roboto, Zodak, and She-Ra. So, Origins, all right. Um, head moves around. His armor is very, you know, I don't want to say flimsy, but it's very um, pliable. That's the right word. It's really soft. It's nice, you know, it's, it, it makes it easier for them to, to fit and move around, I think, and you get these different poses. So, shoulders move, and elbows. Pretty tight yet. I mean, I've had these for a while, so. Sorry, my reviews are, are late, but man, the summer has been just a hectic. Um, hands and wrists move, just like all the other ones. Uh, torso, knees, shins, and feet. I'm really surprised they didn't color the feet different. I mean, I know the original, they, they didn't. So let's compare these two while we, while we have it here, because this is modeled after that one mainly. Uh, armor looks pretty much the same, a little bit different, but not terrible difference. Um, they did give it a different um, paint job on the on his waist here, belt, so it's more of a lime green, and it was completely orange. face sculpt is almost the same. It's a little bit different. This looks more animated, it seems like, than this one. But, uh, and the color too. A little bit brighter. A little bit brighter, like, we, like we've like we seen in the other Origin figures, which I like. Um, let's see how he holds his sword. That's a big handle. Holy smokes. So I think they used the same mold as the Super 7 version. It looks almost identical. The opening here looks a little bit bigger, but man, these look really close to being exactly the same. 
And uh, that might be the reason why it's so hard for him to get a hold on this, this sword. Once you get it in there, it's in there, but. All right. Cool figure. Definitely. Iron Man. And then we got the Lords of Power, which I really like because I love this head sculpt here. Um, it's more towards the, the comic series, I think. I know that there are some people that are getting the Lords of Power um, version and it doesn't have the sticker on the on the bubble on the packaging. Sucker Punch. Oh look at that. So we got another schematic here. Blueprint, removable part thing. These are cool. I like those little things. So yeah, so it was Fisto, Merman, Evelyn, and Faker came out in that wave. And uh, this sword's a little on the translucent side, it looks like. But again, it looks like the exact same mold as the Super 7 and the other Origin one. Um, it's not getting in that hand. There's no way it'll fit in that hand. Maybe, all right, we got it. So, just like the other one, everything moves the same. Um, the big difference here, obviously, between the, or the other Origins figure, the head sculpt, totally different. Um, you know, I think it's got everything the same except for the feet, obviously, and the hands, because you got these like fin gauntlet type of things on here. Um, it definitely has a its own belt where this version does not. So it's got the belt with this, um, you know, buckle type merman type deal. Uh, I don't know what to call it. And then uh, the armor is a little bit different. It's got more like uh, horns going around the top here on his neck. It's more uh, like a beast man type of look type of thing on it. Goes all the way around. Spikes, horns, whatever you want to call that. And um, it's got a smaller like shoulder cover type of thing. And then it also has spikes or teeth or whatever you want to call those coming out the side. Man, this would be like a perfect figure to like custom paint with all these different details on here. So yeah, this, this armor has that belt, that buckle looking thing on the, built right into this armor, where this one here has its own thing. So it's the biggest difference here. This is hands are yellow, obviously, and the feet. But as far as the movement on everything, everything's the same as all the other figures, all the same articulation points which is great, but I do love this figure. I like it a lot. Um, Color-wise, it looks like it's a little bit more on the blue side. It's not as green. So, there you have all the uh, Merman figures that were released recently. And also, my, I'm not gonna worry about putting that one on there. 
Um, so they're basically released in this order. Right there. So, all right guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I really appreciate that. Um, also subscribe to my channel if you haven't, if you're digging this content, these types of reviews, things like that. Um, I really appreciate that. And then also, you know, hit that bell for notifications when I drop new videos. And we will see you in the next one. Later.